If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you or someone you love is exploring treatment for an abnormally rapid heart rhythm. It's a big decision, but the good news is you have options. Before we explore treatments though, let's start with the reason for them. An abnormally rapid heart rhythm puts people at risk for sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac arrest is a serious and life-threatening medical emergency. It's different than a heart attack, which is caused by blockages that prevent proper blood flow. Sudden cardiac arrest occurs when electrical problems cause the heart to stop functioning. If someone experiences sudden cardiac arrest, he or she quickly loses consciousness. When the person faints, immediate defibrillation, that's delivering electrical energy to the heart, is essential to prevent brain damage or death. Sudden cardiac arrest can strike people of any age, gender, or race, including people who appear to be in good health. There's no sure way to know your risk, but common risk factors include a family history of coronary artery disease, high blood pressure and high cholesterol, obesity and diabetes, a sedentary lifestyle, smoking, and excessive alcohol intake. Sudden cardiac arrest is scary, but you can reduce your risk with an implantable device called a defibrillator. Have you seen doctors on TV use those big paddles to shock someone during an emergency? That's one type of defibrillator, but there's also a much smaller version that gets implanted inside the body. A defibrillator is similar to a pacemaker, but there's one major difference. While a pacemaker helps control an abnormally slow heart rhythm, a defibrillator is designed to control an abnormally fast heartbeat. If the device detects an abnormally fast heartbeat, it sends an electric shock to your heart to restore its normal rhythm. This can prevent sudden cardiac arrest. When you're talking to your doctor about a defibrillator, you'll probably discuss two types, the traditional ICD and the newer SICD. Both devices monitor your heart rhythm 24 hours a day, and both are available from Boston Scientific. They are both effective in providing an electrical shock if they detect a life-threatening heart rhythm. Let's look at the options. A traditional ICD, or transvenous ICD, is typically implanted in the left shoulder area near your collarbone. It requires one or two wires, called leads, to be placed in the heart through your veins. An SICD, or subcutaneous ICD, is typically implanted by your lower left ribs, just under your arm. Unlike traditional ICD, the SICD is placed just under the skin, with no wires touching the heart. You are probably wondering what the procedure to implant a device is like. Let's look at an implant for an SICD. The procedure involves six steps. First, your doctor will make an incision on the left side of your chest, next to your rib cage. Then, the doctor will form a pocket or pouch under your skin. That's where the SICD device will be inserted. Next, the doctor will make small incisions so the electrode can be placed under your skin. The electrode is then attached to the SICD device. Once the SICD has been implanted, most doctors will induce an arrhythmia, or irregular heartbeat, to test the device. That's so the SICD can detect and stop an abnormal heart rhythm automatically. Some settings may be adjusted to work best for your heart using a separate program or tablet. Finally, your doctor will close the incisions. Inserting the device itself takes about one hour. However, the entire procedure takes longer. After an SICD implant, you should be able to continue doing the things you love, such as golfing, gardening, and playing with grandkids. Ask your doctor about any activity restrictions the two devices, traditional ICD and SICD, would require. There is a lot to consider as you think about devices to protect against sudden cardiac arrest, and you surely have a lot of questions. Talk to your doctor, and together you can explore if this device is right for you. You can also learn more at SICDSystem.com.